This is a 140 watt power delivery GAN charger that was sent to me by these guys, Aohi, or Aohi, Aohi, however you say that. Uh, these guys have sent me in the past some 240 watt cables, USB-C and Lightning cable set, which was quite nice. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, so they asked me if I wanted to review this power delivery uh, option here. I said yes because I have this Lenovo Legion to the side here, which is very sensitive to uh, power delivery amounts. So you know, if it doesn't get enough power, um, it just doesn't work very well. Um, so this is very nice. Look at that. They have they kind of kill it with the presentation every time. This is cute. Put that there, so it doesn't get ruined. Um, they definitely focus on you know some of the aesthetic too. It's not just like here's our device. Use it. It's, they actually have some nice aesthetics here. Let's have a look at this here. Looks quite nice. It's got a ton of weight to it, which is a good thing. Um, which means it's probably going to have higher quality materials inside. The texture of it is very nice. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a velvety plastic. I don't know how to describe it. It's like those, uh, if you ever go to like a Chapters or like one of those fancy stores that sells tea and stuff, and you get those really nice like mugs that have like a really nice texture to them. It's kind of like that. It's an extremely nice texture, very nice pastel color. So this may seem kind of like redundant, but it does have a very nice look and feel to it. It's good. Yeah, very good. Power delivery and all that looks fine. Okay, so let's plug it in and test it out uh, and see what kind of wattages we can get. Okay, so I have my Lenovo Legion here that I'm going to be testing this with and I will plug this in over here. I have this all out right here. I have uh, a few different cables. I have one that has an actual measurement kind of thingy on it. it can tell us how many watts we're supplying. It only does up to 100 watts, but that should be enough here. So you can see there it's plugged in, looking nice. You get a little L green LED on it to tell you that it's ready to rumble. And we'll just start with the primary USB-C first there. Probably won't be very much right now because we're not doing anything. Uh, whoa, okay. Well, it's upside down, but it says 45 watts right there, so that's good. And the Lenovo Legion is accepting power. That may seem like, oh, wow, it's a gallium nitrate charger. Shouldn't it always charge your Lenovo Legion laptop? Well, the 100 watt Ugreen one didn't work. I had a two port 100 watt Ugreen gallium nitrate charger didn't work. I had a three port 100 watt gallium nitrate charger from Ugreen and it didn't work. So basically, uh, if the device is not actually supplying proper power, the Legion will freak out and it will just not charge. Um, and I've just noticed this, it's just sensitive. It just doesn't like when the charger lies basically. So that's good. That's accepting power right there, exactly as we thought. I'm on silent mode there. Let's switch over to balanced. Uh, see what kind of power we can pull in here. Should use around 100 watts, 90 to 100 watts in balance mode. Uh, this game will easily tax the system here. You can see there we're getting uh, 95 fluctuation up and down, about 95, so we're charging, or we're at least supplying power, 100 watts, which is excellent. Uh, yeah, we're actually getting basically neutral power here. Um, the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 will use up about 100 watts or so on balanced mode here. Um, technically, it can go higher, it can go lower, it just kind of depends what it's doing. I'm going to be actually keeping this charger because all of the gallium nitrate chargers that I've been using over the years, over the past year, have been a problem. Um, they're like I don't know if it's a quality control thing or they're just full of crap because I'll use them on my Legion here and they, they won't work. Like it'll discharge. They don't actually put out 100 watts. They may say 100 watts for the charger, but it'll be like 65 on one port and then you know 35 on the other. Well, that doesn't that doesn't benefit me. I need 100 watts if I'm using one slot, and then maybe if I'm using more. So this is clearly working here. You know, again, I'm not discharging here. This isn't even on silent mode. This is on balance mode. So I'm able to game on a gallium nitrate over USB-C on balance mode. That's impressive. So they don't claim to do 145 watts. They claim to do 140 watts. So the Steam Deck here will do. Uh, I think it pulls a max of 45. The charger at least does 45. Uh, this in theory can pull you know about a hundred or so so i don't want to do a hundred on this and 45 on that because that technically exceeds exceeds the specifications uh, they don't claim that it's you know going to pull 145 or anything like that so so what's happening here is that if you look at the device over here there's two ports there if you have only one port plugged in 
it's going to supply the full wattage basically. So I was getting 100 watts on the Lenovo Legion plugged in there. Now that I have a second one put in, what it has to do is that's to split that power between the two devices. And what we're seeing over here is it's putting out 65. So when you have two devices put plugged in as anticipated, that power gets split then. So now this is just dropping down to 65. It's a little low for the Legion here. So the frame rate has dropped. Um, you know, if I had like a slim or something, it would be fine. Um, but, uh, you know, as soon as I unplug this in theory, I'm going to unplug this and that should go right back up. Give it a sec because it's got to figure out what the heck is going on. There it goes. It kind of reset. You see that there? It kicked its power, kicked its power, and boom. Now we're back up. Frame rate skyrocket. Now I'm back into desktop mode here. You can see it's not pulling anything even close to uh, 65 watts. It just doesn't need it for just hanging out. So, you know, now if I'm plugging in two devices, it'll be totally fine. So if you're using, you know, even a gaming laptop, just day-to-day -day use, you can still also rock something like, you know, a Steam Deck or something high demand at the same time. No problems because that laptop shouldn't be pulling, you know, crazy wattage. It shouldn't be using more than 65 watts just doing word processing or something. If it did, your battery would be slaughtered immediately. So, alrighty, and here's the serious test. So I have two handhelds hooked up here. I have my Steam Deck, which will pull about 45 watts or so max. And then I have my ROG Ally, which uh, it can pull more and pull, but you can see it's going up to 65. I have a Lenovo Legion Go as well. I decided to use the ROG Ally because it will boost aggressively, meaning it'll pull more. Um, the Lenovo Legion Go will just like sit at 30. Whereas the Ally, it'll boost even more to the CPU, put like 40, 45 watts in there, meaning it uses more power. So we can see that there. And it's allowing me to go into turbo mode and supply 65 watts on the ROG Ally, you know, playing Armored Core here, uh, while the, uh, oh, there we go, while I'm also playing on the Steam Deck over here. So that's a super compelling use for this thing. The fact that you could plug this in and have you and your friend or your partner playing on two different handhelds at the same time, whether they be you know, a Steam Deck, which uses slightly lower watts, or an ROG Ally, or a Lenovo Legion Go, you can run both at the same time. You know, Nintendo Switch will be kind of trivial, doesn't use nearly as much power, but you could easily run them both at the same time, which is awesome. We'll plug in my phone at the same time, up here above. And it's charging, it made a little boof sound here. I'll pause that for a second, just to proof of concept. You can see that it's charging there. Well, it's blurry. There you go. So what do I have to say about this 140 watt gallium nitrate charger from Aohi? Uh, it's exactly what I've been looking for and have failed to find for the past, I don't know, two years. I've just found that all these different gallium nitrate chargers, you can hear it in my voice, all these different gallium nitrate chargers that I buy, they suck. I'm sorry, they suck. They don't actually support the wattages that they say. It's all mismarketed, it's all BS, I'll buy them. I'll plug them in, my Lenovo Legion won't get the 100 watts that it should be getting off of the stupid gallium nitrate charger, you know, or I'll plug in something like this device here and this device here and it won't be splitting it properly and they'll both be choking. So this does exactly what it advertises itself to do. Isn't that a shocker? That when a company comes out with something, they claim that it's gonna do it and it actually does it? Apparently that is a shocker and it's a high demand. Uh, these guys are doing it, they actually are doing it, so I'm very happy about this. Um, you can hear how heated I am because I've been irritated by how difficult it's been to find a gallium nitrate charger that doesn't suck. Um, and this is not one of those. This one has finally met my demands of basically just doing what it says it's going to do. Um, so buy it, spend slightly more money on something like this, and get something that makes you happy and doesn't break and actually works, rather than buying some e-waste crap off of you know whatever website and then it doesn't supply what you want it to do or it breaks and then you're gonna be really upset about yourself just spend the slightly bit more money in the first place and get something that actually works like this so yeah high recommendation